course, it will be Everland to show some early speed, but here on the inside comes Torpedo Anna, right alongside of Fiona's Magic. Ways and Means is close to, then Leslie's Rose, followed by Into Champagne as they race into the turn. Our Pretty Woman goes wide into that turn, and right behind them is just FYI, the two-year-old Philly champion is only five lengths off the lead. Break of another two lengths more, back to regulatory risk, and then it's Everland to the outside. In behind them, Tarifa. Where's my ring? Lemon Muffin. Power squeeze in behind that group. Jin Jin is last of them all as the field continues up the backstretch with just over five furlongs to go. In pursuit of Torpedo Anna, who runs by this half mile in 46.79 seconds. The pace is honest enough. Fiona's Magic is second. Ways and Means is perched just to the outside of them, running in third as they race for the far turn. Then just FYI on the outside, into Champagne, saving all the ground, just two lengths off the lead. Then regulatory risk. Leslie's Rose is backpedaling on the turn. Where's my ring is starting to gain a bit of ground. But meanwhile, Torpedo Anna is still there. And Ways and Means is right alongside. And just FYI is making her run. And the three of them will come to the top of the stretch. Three quarters, 111, 175. And they're into the stretch. And Torpedo Anna tries to take them all the way. Just FYI has moved up on the outside. Ways and Means has started to get way. Regulatory risk is run a big one. It is down the center of the track. Torpedo Anna still going strong at the 16th pole. Oh, she's got plenty left. And Brian Hernandez and Torpedo Anna dominate the 150th. And uh, they're off in the fantasy. All things go was off slowly. Recharge, blasts out of post seven. Torpedo Anna, fresh off a layoff, moving up to come and challenge. Candy Isle wedges herself between horses. Recharge, the Sunland Oaks winner, has the lead into the turn. Candy Isle, the runner-up in that race, has taken the second spot. Torpedo Anna, nicely off the pace today, relaxing, stalking in the third position. Body uh, inside of her. A length and a half to West Omaha. Then ingest my heels, already niggled along in midfield in the early stages. Tap it Janali right on her tail. All things go. Third last. Lemon Muffin, the honeybee winner, is second to last. My main squeeze at the back. They're down the back stretch. Recharge, paving the way in the Winchell thoroughbred colors. About a half length in front. Candy Isle pressing from the outside. Torpedo Anna with a good trip third. Body uh, inside of her. A length and a half to a line of runners. West Omaha in the clear. All things go. Attempts to get closer between horses. And just my heels right behind the leaders as they approach the four turn run. Tap it, Janali has lost position. Lemon Muffin still has one runner beat. My main squeeze has to pass them all the favorite, and she's got nine lengths to make up in the final five sixteenths. They start to pack up around the turn. Recharge has company. Thorpedo Anna in the three path looms large, and now Tyler Gaffleone sounds the alarm on West Omaha, and she's moving forward at the top of the lane. Thorpedo Anna off the turn. West Omaha all in second. Recharge done. Candy Isle weakens. Then all things go. It's Torpedo Anna. Furlong to go. Opening up three. West Omaha second. Tap it, Janali third. Torpedo Anna is back in business. Off the layoff. And she is a dominant winner of the fantasy. Kentucky Oaks, you bet. Torpedo Anna over West Omaha. Tap it, Janali. And all things go. And they're off. With Sunset Intricate and Dozen Diamonds down inside, sent on. Jin Jin was away well, too. But it's West Sunset and Dozen Diamonds. And those two fillies hook up into the first turn. West Sunset up for a short lead. Dozen Diamonds keeps pace, though. Now it's three lengths back to Intricate down inside. Racing in third, Torpedo Anna. Three wide, fourth, Jin Jin. Back into fifth, Central Avenue settles into sixth. Five lengths from there, back to Purloin. And at the back early, long shot. Here's the Spider. Backstretch run, West Sunset builds a three-length lead for that backstretch run. The opening quarter's on the board in a swift 23-1. and one. There's five for lungs to go, West Sunset. Now it's five. West Sunset leads the way down the backstretch run. 
Dozen Diamonds in pursuit second. Intricate toward the inside, coasting along while third. Torpedo Anna three wide past a half mile pole fourth. After an opening half and 47 and one, they're round to the far turn, West Sunset. They're whittling away at that lead. It's down to a length and a half. Dozen Diamonds is on the move. Intricate is pinned down toward the rail. Torpedo Anna's revving up three wide. Central Avenue is picking it up as well. Now fifth and four lengths behind Jin Jin. Purloin at the back as they come for the top of the stretch. West Sunset surrounded by challengers. Wide off the turn, Dozen Diamonds. Torpedo Anna's there. Intricate finds a seam in between and she shoots on through. Intricate grabs the lead right at the eighth pole. Dozen Diamonds fighting on with Torpedo Anna. Jin Jin and Central Avenue running on from the back, but they're into the final 16th and Intricate has gone clear by four in a picture perfect ride from Gaffleone. They score in the golden rod over Torpedo Anna. And they're off. And quickly, it's Fast Anna in front like a rocket out of the starting gate. And Wildcat Red comes out running in second, the Big Beast third early on here. CZ held in fourth toward the inside. Noble Cornerstone is fifth, about six lengths from that free running leader here. And toward the back of the pack, Coup de Grasse, Noble Moon, and Myositis Dan. So the opening quarter was 22 and four here for Fast Anna who zips through that opening quarter mile, but not far behind, it's Wildcat Red and the Big Beast who's situated on the outside as they move into the far turn. CZ is just in behind the leaders and running along in fourth. And then it's Coup de Grasse, now about five lengths from the front, followed by Noble Cornerstone, Noble Moon, and Maya Sidestan. Still chasing Fast Anna through a half mile of 46 seconds flat. Wildcat Red is in all out pursuit, but is still two and a half lengths behind. The Big Beast floated wide there by Wildcat Red. Coup de Grasse moves through in between horses, but Fast Anna is still there. The Big Beast unwinding up now on the far outside. Wildcat Red is in between horses. Coup de Grasse in tight. CZ had to check. Can Fast Anna hold on? The Big Beast is coming with giant strides on the outside. Fast Anna, the Big Beast. Got it by a head, just gobbling up the ground.